hey, I've got a really great demo I'm gonna share with you today using ChatGPT to take your YouTube video transcript to help you craft a blog post out of your YouTube video content. This is so amazing and I'm really excited to share this with you. Let's move over to screen sharing mode and I'm gonna demo this with you right now. Okay, so we're here in ChatGPT. One tip I'm gonna give you is anytime you're using ChatGPT and you're writing prompts, always use it as if you're asking an assistant for help and clarify if you if they understand or if in this case if ChatGPT understands the request that you're asking this way you get clarification before getting into having it do some work for you so i'm just going to start by explaining what i'm trying to accomplish here and what i want my out outcome to be Let's start by entering in and the text that I'm going with here is I'm saying I have a video transcript from a YouTube video I have created. I'd like help to turn the video transcript into text for a blog post. If I paste the transcript text below, can you help me convert it to copy for a blog post? So I'm giving clarification as to why I'm doing this, what I want to do and asking if it can help me do this. So let's see what ChatGPT has to say. And there you go, boom. I can certainly help with that. Please paste the transcript text below and I'll do my best to convert it into copy for a suitable blog post. Great, so now what I'm gonna do is I've exported my transcript from my video. I'm gonna quickly open up a file. I'm gonna copy and paste that in here. And then after, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through the copy of what it spit out. And then usually what I'll have to do is just read through, make sure everything's accurate. Sometimes we can give ChatGPT these little prompts or extra commands to do some edits and tweaking to that document. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna quickly go and find my transcript text. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna enter in another command below. I give it a little prompt and I enter in the blog post text. And I've entered that in. And right away, without even thinking, it's starting to take that content and write it out for me. I mean, this is so amazing. I gave it text from a video transcript and all I did was I said, help me write something. Look at how fast it's doing this. If I was to do this on my own, I'd be spending a lot of time. I'd have to probably edit the caption text formatting. That alone would could take me a half an hour. Then I'd have to put it into a word processor and start typing things out. Now this isn't going to be perfect. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have to redo some stuff now. But let's let me quickly read through it. The the funny thing about all this is. I created a video about how to repurpose your video content in multiple ways. And one of the examples I gave was to convert your video to a blog post to use ChatGPT to do that. And that's what I'm demoing here as we record this. So I'm gonna quickly read through this and make sure that it did catch all of the six ways that I suggested to repurpose video content. And let's see what else we have to do to edit this. So right away at the beginning, we've got repurpose. Repurposing your video content is an excellent way to reach more people, grow engagement, and build a larger following. Many content creators rely solely on YouTube to grow their following and reach their audience. But there are many other ways to leverage your video content and use it in multiple ways to reach people on different platforms. In this article, I will share six ways to repurpose your video content to maximize your reach. Now that's exactly what the video was about. Obviously, it's not phrased perfectly up here. There's a little bit of uh, duplication. I might um, ask it to rewrite that first paragraph, but right away, it's not taken word for word. It's actually rewritten and rephrased some of what I actually verbally said at the beginning of the video I recorded, which is really cool. Uh, let's go through the six tips and make sure it got those correct. Repurpose your video content on social media platforms. Bang. Yes, it was. Use your video content for social media posts. Now, 
Uh, that was correct, but I did ask it to do something else, um, basically to repurpose that content into multiple po posts and uh, multiple formats or sizes. Use video content to make blog posts. That's exactly what we're doing here. Use your video content in, uh, in email newsletters. That I wanna rephrase. Use video content, actually that is correct. Uh, use video content in webinars and presentations. Now this is not accurate. So this one uh, does have to be changed. And number six was to use video content for lead magnets and that's correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is just acknowledge So I just basically said, hey, that's a great first draft. I wanna make some edits, are you gonna help me? And it should just answer yes. So let's see what let's see what it does. Of course, feel free to provide any feedback or suggestions for adjustments that you would like me to make. I'll do my best to incorporate them into the draft. Beautiful, right? This is This is very cool. So I just asked it to rewrite the second sentence in the opening paragraph. And this is completely wrong. So sometimes, like I said, sometimes when you're working with ChatGPT and you ask it to do something, it either may not understand or it may do the complete wrong thing. So sometimes you do have to try a couple times. At this time it got it better. So repurposing your video content is an excellent way to reach more people, grow engagement and build a larger following. So before it had many content creators rely solely on YouTube, right? So now while YouTube is a powerful platform to grow your following and reach your audience, content creators can expand their reach by repurposing their video content and using it in various ways on different platforms. That's perfect, okay? Again, I'm just asking it to rewrite everything for me. It didn't do it exactly, but got it um, enough. Is an excellent way. Oh, actually, it did it perfectly. Repurposing your video content is an excellent way to grow your engagement. Let's keep the first line of the first draft instead. Just replace that second sentence. So let's see if it did it this time. No, it didn't. So you see, it's, it is growing a little bit um, cuckoo here. So what I want to do is I'm just going to do it again. Let's see if it understands this time. Sometimes the reason why ChatGPT doesn't spit out what we want is because our initial commands could be a little bit confusing. So let's see. It still didn't, didn't do it perfectly. Oh, it did. Using your video content is an excellent way to reach more people, grow engagement, and build a larger following. And then it did replace. Yep, so it's doing it. Well, YouTube is a powerful platform, different platforms. In this article, we will cover the six ways to repurpose your video content to maximize your reach. <laughs> and as you can see, it isn't. <sighs> see, so ChatGPT isn't perfect but it is helping me write the post. Okay, so I like the opening paragraph. So I'm going to help it again a little bit more. So again, I'm just going to ask it to help me.
So this time I'm asking it to rewrite that second point. That's perfect. Um, and then number five is what we need to replace. So Okay, so now it's rewriting it again. Hopefully it hasn't changed anything else. Um, and then the last one, website lead magnets. Okay, so now, video content for lead magnets. So now I'm just asking it to write the final draft. So that was pretty cool. I showed you how we took a video transcript from uh, that we exported from a, a recent video, we put it into ChatGPT, and we worked through the process of asking ChatGPT to write a blog post and then provide some edits. Now it wasn't perfect, it did take a little bit of extra time. I did have to ask ChatGPT to replace a couple things that it, it wrote incorrectly. Um, it didn't understand one of the requests I gave it was completely wrong in what it was doing. It kind of went off the rails a bit. Um, but you saw how I prompted it to start again. And when we worked through multiple versions and I pasted things together for it, it understood better. As you can see, in a pretty short amount of time, ChatGPT was able to draft up a pretty solid article for me from that draft. If I was doing this alone, like I said, I probably would have spent 10 to 20 minutes just taking the transcript and trying to format the text line by line so that it was better in copy. And then going through to write out the actual paragraphs would have taken me more time than it took here. Um, in the end, I've got almost 90% of the way there. When I um, take the copy, put it into um, my WordPress blog and start editing things there for the final draft, I can clean it up. But overall, this was really cool. Um, and I hope you use this to your advantage. I will be creating another video showing you how I use ChatGPT to take the transcript of my video to create one of those lead magnets. That was one of the examples in the original video. So be sure to click on the link that I'm gonna have up here and we're gonna walk through together how to use ChatGPT, take the transcript of the video, create a uh, downloadable checklist that I'm gonna create uh, from that copy. And I'd love your feedback. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up below in the comments. Tell me how, how you've used ChatGPT to help craft different messages or different content for yourself. Um, I'd love to hear your ideas. And if you have any other um, suggestions for future videos, please give me some, some ideas below as well. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe as well so that you get notified the next time I create a video on ChatGPT or giving any demonstrations. Once again, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social, where we take the complicated out of social media marketing and digital marketing, try to make it a little more simple and easy for you. I'll see you in the next video.